Today I'm going to show you GenSpark.ai. So GenSpark is what they call a super agent. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's something similar to ChatGPT. It works using different prompts that you create, but it's really good at taking complex, multifaceted tasks and then you know, answering those prompts and giving you good feedback. So today what we're going to do is look at a prompt that will help bloggers with keywords. So when you go to GenSpark, this is what you see. And every day you'll get 200 free credits from GenSpark. So with this particular prompt, you should be able to run it for the 200 credits that you get for free. Now I have a monthly subscription to GenSpark, it's $24.99. I've been using it quite a bit. So, you know, for blogging tasks, it's really good. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna show you a variety of prompts that I'm using with GenSpark to add information gain to blog posts, do internal linking. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a keyword research prompt, et cetera. So let's just jump right into this. I wanna show you the prompt. So this is the prompt that we're going to use in GenSpark. So the thing that I wanna point out is where you see bold blue, that's where you're going to enter some information into this prompt before you would put it in GenSpark. So in this case, I'm trying to find long tail keywords related to my blogging niche. So the first place that you have to enter something is the main keyword or niche. In this case, let's just say we have a mountain biking niche. So we have a blog about mountain biking and I'm going to just put that in. And this gives GenSpark at least some knowledge of what the general overall purpose of the blog is. It's, you know, blog posts about mountain biking. You're trying to find long tail keywords that you can use for blog posts in the future. So then you have to enter a general description of the topic that you need long tail keywords about. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I want to find long tail keywords that I could create articles for that deal with people just starting out in mountain biking. So I'm going to do this. I put in mountain biking for beginners. So first, what the prompt's going to do, it it's going to look and see what my general niche is, mountain biking. It's going to find keywords related to that. It's going to be more specifically finding keywords about mountain biking for beginners on Google. It's going to extract questions from the people also ask section. And then for each question, it's going to search that specific question and extract some additional data. So it's going to go two levels deep into people also ask. It'll organize the questions into topical clusters, which will be really great, right? That way you can pull out maybe the two best long tail keywords out of a topic cluster because you want to make sure that you don't cannibalize your content and write about the same topic, but it just in a slightly different manner. So these topical clusters will be useful. And then it's going to identify which questions have the lowest competition. And it's going to base that on websites that are currently ranking. So it's actually going out, it's looking at the SERPs, it's looking at Google and searching through the web and doing this for you automatically. Now, typically I use low fruits for finding long tail keywords, but I wanted to see, you know, if a person had a subscription to GenSpark, could they do somewhat the same kinds of things that you could do in low fruits. So let's go ahead, let's take this prompt, let's go to GenSpark and see what it produces. So I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go over to GenSpark. I'm gonna to go to Super Agent, and then I'm going to drop this prompt in and we'll go ahead and start it. And the nice thing about GenSpark, while it's working, you can see exactly what it's doing as it goes through and starts to formulate this page of information it's going to give you with these long tail keywords. So like it's telling you it's extracting questions from people also ask. It's looking for the second question from the original search. It's going deeper into the people also ask section. It's going two levels deep. And then it'll finish out with more related questions and the competition and building those clusters. So when it's done, we'll take a look at it together. All right, so it's finished. Let's take a look and see what we got out of this prompt. So as we go through here, let's get back to the top. 
It's created this long tail questions, keywords related to mountain biking. And so uh, one topic it has or one topical cluster that it has is beginner questions and getting started. And it shows you some questions with lower competition that have come from forums and personal blogs. And you can go through and look at those and determine whether you want to write an article on something like this. So where do I even begin as a beginner in mountain biking? How to get into mountain biking with zero experience? Is mountain biking hard to learn? What skills are needed for mountain biking? So there's some good ones in there that you could potentially write articles about. And then here's some questions that have moderate competition. And you can go through there determine if there's anything there that looks good. And then it's got some higher competition types of questions. And so we all know Google loves brands, right? So many times brands tend to appear before standard blog posts. And so uh, here's what some major retailers and publications are writing about, but they will be higher competition based on the SERPs. So then there's a section called mountain biking selection and buying advice. And so there's a bunch of questions related to that topic cluster that you could go through and see what makes sense to write about. There's some good ones in there. Then another topic cluster that would be mountain biking as a hobby or a sport. And there's a bunch of different questions in here that are really useful for putting together a list of blog posts, especially if you're just starting this blog, and then rules and etiquette, and then maintenance and upkeep. And again, it just breaks everything down for, for lower, moderate, and high competition, and then from the different sources that it's went out and looked at. And then finally, it does an analysis of low competition opportunities. It goes through, clusters those for you, and it says, these questions show strong search intent, but are currently dominated by forum discussions, Reddit threads, and personal blogs rather than authoritative sites, indicating potential opportunities for content that provides comprehensive expert answers. So again, I did this on mountain biking. You could use this particular prompt for, you know, any niche and any particular types of areas that you want to concentrate in a niche and get some really good ideas for long tail keywords that you could use. So you're going to find this prompt in the description for this video. And again, I'm running this prompt at genspark.ai. You get 200 credits a day for free. That should be enough to probably run this prompt completely and get you some of the long tail keywords that you need. So I hope you found this useful. And until next time, take care.